So due to the huge success of our What's in the Cabinet, we've got some fresh stocking for you guys, and we're gonna show you what LWC has in stock today. Right, so we're gonna start at this side. So let's open the cabinet, let's see what we've got. So we're gonna start off with the 18 karat white gold, dead at 40, rhodium dial. This particular watch, RRP is around about 34, 35K. We actually took this in part exchange for one of our clients who bought it at list to get up the list. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to get the watches he wanted. So he actually part exchanged it for a ghost from us, the white gold ghost. And we've got this advertised under RRP. So for you guys looking for a different looking watch on the day date range, something a bit more stealthy, super classy, really, really, really nice watch. The next one I'm gonna to go to is staying in the dead eight range. We're gonna to go to the one that you guys will all know is the 18 karat rose gold olive dial, the beautiful, beautiful green dial, the anniversary. This particular watch we've got marketed just under 45K, around 44K. Last year, this watch reached, believe it or not, 70,000 pounds, cover this in other videos. The dial alone was selling for 25,000 pounds last year. So it does represent really good value. The RRP on this is late 30s. We're selling for just over list. So like I say, 44K, absolutely stunning, luxurious, really, really expensive, expensive looking watch. So one that you guys definitely should pull in the trigger if you look in the day date range, I'm sure it's already on your list. The next one I'm gonna go to is the Daytona range. This is the stunning 18 karat rose gold Daytona full bracelet model. This particular one has the beautiful new model Sunder style, which changed around 2020, 21. This has the new dial. The older dial actually looked a lot more rose, a lot more pink. This particular one has that beautiful sundust and much lighter with the black sub dials color. Again, marketed around about the 45K mark. Some of you guys that are looking for that sports professional, but on a bracelet, really good choice and really, really nice combination. Then we'll go to the, we'll stay in the Daytona range. This is one that's literally just come in this morning. It is the 18 karat rose gold, same model, black dial. I think it's about 2021 model, somewhere around there. Again, for you guys looking out there for that full bracelet look, this can be marketed around about the 40K, around 41, 42. I actually was selling this watch back in the day, believe it or not, for 17, 18,000 pounds when I first started in the industry. Definitely something that you guys should be pulling the trigger on. Really, really nice looking watch. Then we'll go on to the next one, which is staying. The... Now this one you guys will definitely really like. This is the stunning 18 karat rose gold discontinued chocolate dial oyster flex daytona we've actually had two of these in the last two months both have been sold one was to a client off the desk in the back office who came to do another deal with us and the other one we sold to a good friend of ours which i'm sure is watching this video so yeah this one will actually be going live on the website i'd be very surprised if it does actually last longer than two or three days on the website like i said discontinued dial such 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 a great great combination there's only two top dials in this particular model one's the baguette dial sundust and one's this one which is the chocolate so definitely definitely top dial price wise we're marketing this around 36 k i think the rrp on this was around about this sort of 26k so yeah discontinued super collectible really 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 nice watch so while we're staying in the daytona range so we're going to keep going the daytonas this is one again literally came to stock yesterday needs no introduction one of my all-time favorites you know the guys i wear this one personally absolutely unbelievable watch the 18 karat yellow gold champagne black dial Pikachu dial. This one actually is coming into 2021. We're now up to five now, guys. So I know if you follow the channel, we've actually worked up to three, mine being the third in nine years that we've actually had in the company. The other one that we got in, which is literally two weeks ago, put it on the website, sold literally within hours. So this one actually, I have a client on my books already. In fact, I've got two clients, one in Singapore, and I actually have another client who is wanting to invest in some collectibles. We've already got him a Panda Daytona and he's given me a budget that he wants to work with and we're building his collection back up. So the first one was the Panda, which we've actually got and put away, the 2023, last one of that one. And this one, I'm certainly gonna recommend to him. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't take it. And if he doesn't take it, we'll be contacting the client in Singapore that wants to buy it for his wife. So, so yeah, unbelievable watch. Price-wise on that now, they just keep going up and up and up, around about 40 to 45K, beautiful. Right, so into the next one, this is another discontinued model for you. This is the stunning stainless steel Milgaus. It is the discontinued blue dial with the green glass. Definitely something that is now in the money. The market has settled a bit. When this first got discontinued, we saw prices, people asking 12, 13, 14,000 pounds for this watch. They might still be a few online that price. They're not gonna achieve it. This particular one is just over sort of like 11K mark. We had one in two weeks ago, sold it straight away to a client, got in this collection. This one's 2022, just took it in part exchange for one of our clients. It's completely unworn, couple of stickers on it. We'll be going 
someone's collection, I would have thought, definitely something that somebody would buy. And what really can you buy around about the 10 to 12K, collectible wise, it's been discontinued, that you know, kind of true some nice interest over the years. Nice, slow, steady, slow burner as we call it. Definitely one, so that'll be going on the website live. Just come in. This is one for you guys out there, it's a bit of a different one. So this is the Explorer one. This is the 40 mil, the brand new model. And this is one that has just been brought out by Rolex. Really hard to get. Not many for sale online, actually. When we bought this thing, there's only a couple of sale online in the UK. I think we've marked this up at somewhere around about, I'm going to say eight on eight and a half grand, somewhere around there. I think our happy and it's low sixes, possibly somewhere. But it won't be that easy for you to get. You should be able to, if you start buying a few little pieces, like we said before, or daring, maybe another brand or something else, you should get a good chance of getting this. But definitely something that, you know, for you guys out there, want that simple classic look, it definitely will be something that you guys, you know, can pull the trigger on. Right, so into still at this side of the cabinet, I have another two, but I'm gonna save them for you because they are really special. So I'm gonna close that cabinet and I'm gonna open this side. So right, now into the front of the cabinet. So we are going to go to the Daytona range again. So this is one that is a fully stickered, unworn, Panda Daytona, needs no introduction, loads and loads of videos on this. We've just got it in, in stock, we marked it at 30K. It's a 2019, fully unworn, fully stickered, again, really rare to see. Both stickers on the sides. The barcode, got the crown guards, got the case back sticker, fully stickered clasp, the two red ones there, one on that side, one on that side. And obviously the inner clasp as well, that is a fully stickered. Like I've said in other videos, guys, you know, they actually stopped leaving fully stickered watches. It was company policy up to around 2019, late 1920, where they actually allowed these watches to go out for a good sort of like, let's say purple patch of around five or six years, 2014, 15 to 1920. It's actually company policy now for ADs to remove all the stickers and they have somebody else to check it over to make sure it's not being sold with any protective stickers on. So this is one, one of the last ones with the fully stickered. So Again, really good investment one. One that unfortunately will probably never get worn, which is a bit sad really, but that's just life. So it is a commodity. Obviously the GOAT, the Grail, the best investment, you know, Daytona range that you can, you guys can look for. So yeah, Panda Daytona, 30K, fully stickered, gone live on the website. It's one of you guys, I'm sure we're pulling trigger on that and adding that to your collection soon. And then we'll stay in the Daytona range. This is another ghost. I won't go over this too much because obviously we do talk about the ghost quite a lot. This is a new one that came to stock, I think it was two or three days ago. I think we're up to like six or seven now that we've sold in the last six or seven weeks. So again, live on the website, I think this is 2021, absolutely immaculate condition. Not a mark on this watch whatsoever. Full set, like everything we sell at LWC. So yeah, 35K. I'm very surprised if it lasts the end of the week, if I'm honest with you. So yeah, that definitely one, you know, like I said, unbelievable watches. The one of the best oyster plates that you, you literally will buy. And then we're into, I'll tell you what, let's pull that one out. So this is one that is an extremely beautiful watch. Is the stunning platinum Daytona with the unbelievable baguette diamond marker dial. We actually had one in two and a half, three weeks ago. We had a client drive up from London to collect it. He actually had seen this watch not this particular one, the one he bought at the airport around 2015. He could have bought it for around $50,000, somewhere like that. He was going to Vegas, couldn't stretch it or just didn't work for him at the time. And he's wanted this watch ever since. And he came to us and he bought his Grail watch two weeks ago. So if you're watching, thank you for your purchase. And yes, we've managed to restock another one, which is, is really good. Exactly the same watch, same price, just under the 100K mark, £175,000 last year. The market has seen it now at under 100K, which I think is really good value. Definitely one thing, I mean, the RRP on ones of that, for example, was around about late 60s when it was discontinued. Unbelievable watch. Cover this in loads and loads of videos. If you want to see any more details on this particular watch, unbelievable, but yeah, another one in stock, just under 100K. Then let's go to this one. So this is like one of my favorites. I'm not sure I would actually wear it now, just because I don't wear the full gold bracelets, but definitely one that you guys out there will find really appealing to the the, eye. the 18 karat yellow gold submariner date, the new 41 millimeter model, has the blue dial and blue bezel. So absolutely stunning watch. The RRP on this watch, I'm gonna say is around 33, 34K. This particular one, I think we've marked it round about list, but for under list, which I've covered in the videos. So yeah, round about list for this particular one. Really, 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 really nice watch. If you're wanting that watch where you don't mind being noticed and you want something that literally will make you smile, then that's definitely the watch for you. Yeah, so really, really stunning watch. Definitely good some watch as well for you guys, actually. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are daily, I'm sure some of you might, but it's probably more of a weekend watch I would say now so yeah definitely absolutely stunning watch and one thing if you put on your wrist it will definitely definitely make you smile so let's go into the date just range so this is a date just coming to stock yesterday this is a date just 41 with the mint green dial which I do tell all you guys if you can actually get this dial from your ID probably not your first purchase maybe your second or third you want to be asking for this dial this one's in the 41 mil smooth bezel jubilee bracelet always try to get the jubilee bracelet even if it's on the smooth Ideally, try and go fluted, but even this combination here, absolutely stunning combination, 
Really, really nice watch. RRP on this watch around about, say, late 60s, 69, 7K. We paid over RRP for it because of the mint green dial. We'll be selling just under 10K to give you an idea. It's a really, really stunning watch. And let's go into, all right, so okay, we've got this one here. So this is the blue dial. So this is the same model. So it's the 126300. And it's got the blue dial with the smooth bezel Jubilee bracelet. This particular one we've actually just sold yesterday to a client. Come to collect in a couple of weeks. So congratulations on that. But yeah, stunning, really deep blue dial. To give you an idea of the price difference, I think this is a 2021 model. We actually sold this to our client for around about 8250. So you can see the jump when I say about the dial combinations and asking your AD from obviously a one of the good dials. So you've got the, the Rhodium, the Blue and the Wimbledon, you know, to the mint green, the actual jumping dial. So you can actually see the difference there, uh, but absolutely stunning watch, so congratulations. Then throw a bit of a curveball for you guys in there. This is the OP range or Oyster Perpetual range. Coral red dial, this is a 41 millimeter discontinued model, collectible piece. They come in, I think six or seven different dial combinations. So if any of you guys there are looking to add that to your collection of OPs, then this is certainly one that you could be adding to it. Two of the other obviously really popular ones are the mustard yellow, and then you've got the turquoise blue, AKA the Tiffany. So yeah, this is definitely one of the top three dials in this particular watch. Bought this from one of our clients. It's uh, come out of his collection, and no doubt going to another collection. Our wrap in this watch around 4,750. We've marketed this around 15K. So a few guys out there looking to add to it, just let us know. Then let's go to, yeah, so this is one for you guys. So I think we spoke about this in other videos. So this is the Sprite. So this is a left-hand drive Sprite. We actually had the Jubilee in two weeks ago. Sold it a list in a couple of days off the website at one of our good clients. So yeah, this is the opposite. So this is obviously the Oyster bracelet. There is a price difference. So I think the Jubilee was sold for just over 20K or 21K. This particular one we've marketed just slightly under that. So definitely something, there's a difference in the bracelet size. Do you know what it is with this particular watch? The one question I get asked from you guys all the time, so I'll probably answer it now for you, is, you know, what's the better investment, this or a Hulk? And it always seems to be compared against a Hulk. But the thing is with the Hulk, it's discontinued. This particular one is still a current model. Like anything with Rolex, when they throw a bit of a curveball and something a bit different, they'll have a short run on any particular model like that. It's only a matter of time before that gets discontinued. When that is, obviously nobody knows, but I just can't see it have a long one. It's not an easy watch to get from the AD. You're not gonna ever walk in and get it. You're not even probably gonna get it on your second or third spend. You might have to spend four or five watches to get this particular one. So yeah, around about the 20K, really good watch. And like I said to my clients who asked the question and answered that question is, choose the one you like. So if you prefer the Hulk, choose the Hulk. If you prefer this, choose this one. Because the Hulk obviously discontinued, tried the test of time, really good investment. But this is a completely different looking watch with having the polished center links and obviously the black dial. So yeah, really good watch, 20K, should be buying that. So this is the discontinued Air King. So this is the one, the predecessor to the uh, current model. You'll notice a slight difference on the dial. It's got, not got the crown guards, which is the latest model, and it's got a bit of a rounder case, whereas the new one's a bit more of a, a smoother profile to the case. Price-wise on this one, I think we've got a size around about, I'd probably say £8,000. I would need to check the website. You know, had it in for, I think, about a week, a couple of weeks, something like that. But yeah, something, you know, totally unique, a completely different looking dial. You know, it's got different newer markers, different colours. You know, it's definitely something, and it is a Marmite watch. You will either love this watch or you will hate it. It's as simple as that. But yeah, for, for something on an Oyster bracelet, under sort of 10K mark, really nice watch. Then we've got a Steel Daytona, the black dial. This is a 2022, bought from the original owner. Literally been on the wrist one, so again, we'd say that's pre-owned, even though it literally looks brand new, there's not a mark on it. We've got half-times around 25K, guys, so just give you an idea, this watch was between 30 and 35K last year. This particular one, you know, like I said, it's full set, absolutely everything with it. I can't believe this watch hasn't sold, you know, for that sort of price, 24, 25K, considering, you know, if you look at the, the market overseas, this watch actually overseas, that's a wholesale price. If you're looking to buy that in, let's say, America or in Europe, that's pretty much a trade price, guys. So, you know, definitely something if you're looking out there for that steel day that grail, the goat, that particular watch, the one that you've always wanted, 25 grand, that is really good value. And I honestly can't believe it's not sold. Right, let's go back to this side. So we're gonna go to the Holy Trinity for these last two watches. We're gonna start with one which is called the Pilot Calatrava. So this is the 42 millimeters. It's got the blue dial with the blue strap, it comes in two straps, we've also got the tan strap with it. 2020 model, it's made in 18 karat white gold. And like I said, it's the pilot model. This particular watch is around 42,000 pound new. It was taken by one of my clients as a get you up the list watch, which I've colored, covered in other videos for the Calatrava range. And he did manage to get the watches that he wanted as well, which is great for him. We're selling it under RRP. So for you guys out there looking to buy something that's a completely different looking watch on the leather strap, that beautiful sort of pilot vintage looking watch, but something a bit more stealthy being the 18 karat white gold, 36K, 
really, really, really good value for money. Have a look online. I don't think there's one anywhere on the planet advertised for less than sort of 34, 35K. So yeah, for full set, everything with it, you know, 36K. It's a really nice watch. And then this watch literally is my grail watch. So I honestly can't believe I've actually got it in stock. I can't believe I managed to be able to get one. I bought it from one of our new clients that came to see us last week. He bought it brand new and it's absolutely unbelievable watch. I genuinely honestly can't believe I've actually got it in stock. So with more ado, I'm going to show you the watch and it is the Patek Philippe 59901A Nautilus discontinued model. It's 40.5 millimeters in size. It's got the unbelievable black and light gray dial. It's the travel time complication. So you have the two time zones as well. It's on the stainless steel bracelet. It's probably one of the hardest watches you will ever, ever try to get out of Patek Fleet. It is that hard to get. To give you an idea, this price wise on this, I think when this one was about 40, 42K, the new one now is actually around 53K, somewhere around there, 50K. This watch, on the open market has a minimum for an unworn, which this one is full set absolutely everything with it for between 110 and 130,000 pounds. So you can see what price this watch commands on the actual open market. It is that hard a watch to get. I mean, we're talking a stainless steel watch guys, you know, we're not talking a precious metal or anything like, you know, some of these models I've got here or platinum, it's stainless steel, but the watch is absolutely unbelievable. The chances are you guys will never ever see one of these in the flesh. I've been in this business for nine years and I've never, ever, ever had one in ever. That's how beautiful and rare this particular watch is. And to find an unworn one is again, quite rare. Most people, believe it or not, these were sold like, you know, a few years ago for like 40, 50K, that's where they were. People dailyed them. So it's definitely something that is absolute privilege for me to own at LWC and actually having to stop and obviously holding my hand here because for me it is my grail, the unbelievable, there's nothing better, there's no watch you could ever show me, you could show me a Richard Mill, you could show me a Rose Gold, the, you know, the 598 of this and for me that is the best all round Patek Philippe you could ever buy. So thanks for watching guys, as always, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.